Wide receiver Vinny Williams caught four touchdown passes to tie the school record while lifting the Albright football team to a 43-14 win over Misericordia on Saturday afternoon at Shirk Stadium. He finished with 10 catches for 94 yards. Williams got on the board with Albright's first score midway through the first quarter on a four-yard pass from Alec Vignola. Misericordia came back with a touchdown on its next drive, but the extra point hit the upright to leave it 7-6 Albright advantage. Danny Ty capped a 70-yard drive late in the quarter to make it 15-6 after a successful two-point conversion try on a fake by David Gavrilov. Ty finished with a team-high 88 yards rushing on 14 carries. Williams sandwiched two more touchdown catches around a Misericordia score in the second quarter. His second of the quarter and third of the first half helped the Lions restore a two-score lead heading into the intermission 29-14. Albright's defense held the Cougars to a three and out on the opening possession of the second half, and Williams made three receptions on the Lions' ensuing drive. The third of those catches was a seven-yard touchdown strike to make it 36-14. That also pulled him into tie with Eric Namick for the school record. The Lions capped the scoring midway through the third quarter on a drive that featured running back Romelo Monroe. He started the drive with a 47-yard run into Misericordia territory, and he finished it with an 8-yard touchdown run with 527 to play. That made it 43-14. Monroe finished with 76 yards on three carries. On the defensive side, Grant Bowler led the attack with 12 tackles and a sack. Dante Thomas had an interception and one of two punt blocks for Albright. Kevin Mason had the other. Andrew Young had the other interception for the Lions. Albright will finish its regular season at Lebanon Valley next Saturday at 1 p.m. With a victory, Albright will clinch at least a share of the MAC championship. I'm certainly very pleased with, uh, with how we performed today. Uh, you know, senior day, uh, you know, a little bit different you know, pregame as you saw where we honor uh, 27 seniors. And, um, you know, we, we were able to get all of those seniors significant reps today. Um, you know, we got a couple of them touchdowns and, and receptions and carries. And, uh, you know, Andrew Young had, a, uh, had an interception, uh, which is certainly his first of this year. It might be the first of his career, I'm not sure. But, uh, you know, so you know, anytime you can do that on senior day and get those guys, you know, on the field and, and a lot of work, I, I think that's, that's a good thing. Um, offensively, we were able to control the football you know, pretty much throughout the day, um, both on the ground and through the air. You know, Alec did a great job today. Vinny Williams, I, he set a school record today with, with four receiving touchdowns. And, you know, his senior year on senior day. Uh, so, you know, they, they put it, you know, they gave us a, a test early on. But, you know, our, defensively, we made some adjustments at halftime and just settled down and focused on fundamentals. And, you know, I thought came out in the second half and, you know, did a nice job keeping them off the scoreboard. Um, you know, with one game left to go in the regular season next week, uh, Lebanon Valley next week. Um, you know, our, our theme is finish. And, you know, look, we didn't get off to a great start this season, as you know, starting 0-2, you know, against two very good football teams. But, it, you know, no one ever remembers how you started. It's how you finish that counts in the end. And that's really our theme moving forward is we want to finish this season the right way. And, you know, if, if we do that, then, you know, I, I, I feel confident we're going to be where we want to be, you know, here at the end, um, you know, looking at postseason opportunities, whether that's a, a Max Centennial you know, championship or uh, a Pool C national playoff bid. But you know, all we can do is focus on ourselves and what we can control. And, and I feel strongly that one thing we can control is how we finish. And so that's going to be our emphasis here this week.